Welcome to another video on Design for Assembly. I'd like you to take a look at this assembly and see how you might improve how it's been designed in order to facilitate the assembly process. Let me orient you to this assembly. It is a sheet metal box that contains a bunch of components. On the left, you have a computer that is mounted right to some tabs built into the sheet metal box. On the right, we have a circuit board mounted to some click bonds and then some standoffs for a second board that is mounted in there. I'm going to switch to one of my combination states so that you can see a little bit more information. We have four socket head cap screws that are of the M5 variety with a length of six millimeters that mounts the circuit board on the right. Then we have some hex head fasteners that mounts the second circuit board to the first circuit board. On the left, we have four socket head cap screws, quarter inch by 20 with a length of three eighths of an inch. So I recommend what you do at this point is that you pause the video and take a look and think about how you can improve this. So obviously there's a bunch of stuff going on here. For one thing, we have three different kinds of fasteners and that means it's going to take longer for the person performing the kitting operation in order to gather all those different components. Next, we have socket head cap screws and hex head screws, which means that someone is going to have two different types of tools in order to put this together. Also with the three different kinds of fasteners, the person who's actually going to be assembling this is going to have to keep them organized. Think about if you've ever gotten some furniture that you had to put together yourself and you had a whole bunch of different bags of different fasteners and you have to sort of figure out, hey, which screw goes into which location. Also, another thing that is not so obvious, we have the fasteners on the left coming in horizontally where the rest of the fasteners are coming in vertically. And also, last thing to mention, we have a mix of different units. We're using both metric and imperial units. And these different things that I see in this assembly, I see this all the time in design reviews. So now let's take a look at a way that you can do this better. Here we have a modified version of the assembly and some of the components. The computer on the left hand side of the box has been modified so that we can mount it vertically. And the big thing is we're using the same fastener for all the different locations. They're all metric, they're all M5, they're all the same length, which means that someone is only going to need one tool in order to fasten all these different components. So there you have it with a little bit of thinking during the design process, you can end up saving a lot of time and money during the assembly process.